allies. Friends and I are allies. What's going on, YouTube? I have been tagged uh, by Lazy Gamer NYX. Um, and this is actually a gamer vid, of course. And it is uh, my uh, gaming history, my gaming past. It's funny because I just did a... The last video I did was actually my sneaker history. On what got me into sneakers or whatever. But this is actually my gaming one. I started to tag the last video, but now I'm actually, I actually got tagged. And I feel like I'm not tagged enough in videos. And I don't mind doing tags. I think tags are pretty cool. So uh, I just want to say thank you to Lazy Gamer NYX for tagging me. thought that was awesome. So... As the title says, my gaming history. Now, I don't think I've actually done a video on this, and I hope I haven't. I, I've done so many videos, dude. I don't even remember what the fuck I've done. Um, but let's get started. So, um, I, I'll, to be honest with you, I, I do not know what's the very first video game I ever played in my life. I don't, I don't, I can't remember. From from the from like the first memory I can remember of my life, I've always had a Nintendo. It's just always been there. I, I remember when I when when my sister and I got our games for the Nintendo, but I, I can't remember exactly when we got the Nintendo period. But um Nintendo was actually the first console I'm guessing I ever played. It was definitely the first console I ever owned and I still have my original Nintendo. It actually doesn't work. I'm guessing the pins are fucked up, but um my sister, she's older than me, so she remembers when she got it. It was actually a present from my, from our aunt. Um, and I was talking to my sister about it, and my sister thinks that, she, my sister can't remember exactly the year we got this one, so we either got this in 87 or 88, and I can't remember that because I was three years old, so, I'm sure I, down, deep down, I probably could remember, but, this was the very first console I ever owned, I ever played with, and I grew up with the most, well, not the most, but, this basically started it, this right here, this boxy box, Thing, gray thing um but back in the day man i don't know about about people well, you guys but back in the day i only grew up with like five games and like it was really rare to find somebody that had like 20 30 40 games them shits were expensive man so i actually i still have all the games that i grew up with except for one i'm missing one um and then it ended up breaking like you could like when you when you when you shook the cartridge you could hear some minutes so I don't have it anymore. But these are the games that I actually grew up with. Um so the first one is actually Super Mario Duck Hunt. It came with the console and we, we I I had the orange zapper. We didn't have the gray zapper. We had, we had the orange one. So this was Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt was definitely a game that I always played. Um this one I don't have the box for, but this is still the original game. From when we got freaking years ago, dude. Um, Knight Rider. As a kid, I never understood how to play this game. I thought this game was the weirdest game. On I hated this game. I don't even know why we got this game. F fuck Knight Rider. But I still own it. I need to get the box for it. Rad Racer is another game we got. Um, I guess my father ended up buying these because he's in the cars. So Rad Racer was another game. Original game that I grew up with now. Um... This one we got when it came out. My sister and I got this as Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blow. This is pretty much one of the really only adventure games we had for a while. This and Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle was another game that we had. But that's the game that broke. I don't have Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle anymore. So I actually, actually got to look that up and get it. But this was definitely a game I remember growing up. Honestly, I think this was the very first game I ever beat in my life. Like, I beat this game as a kid. And then later on, we got Super Mario Brothers 3. This is like my sister's favorite game, so we had to get this. And then the last game that I ever bought for Nintendo, like back in like 1991, like right before I got my Super Nintendo, was Ninja Turtles 3, um, The Manhattan Project. I remember crying for this. I saw this at KB Toys in the mall when I was like six years old. And I was like, oh, and I love Ninja Turtles. Not, dude, I started cr I cried my ass off to get this game. My parents bought it for me. Like, that's how bad I was crying. That was the first and only time I ever did that. And I st this is still the original card I've had for 22 years. This isn't the original box, though, but... So those were the games I grew up with. And then 
I have three games that I would rent all the time, man. I would always rent these games, and these are games I consider I grew up with that pretty much, you know, made me into what I am today in gaming. So, uh, Chippendale's Rescue Rangers, the first one. Um, this takes me back. Battletoads. It's it's funny because in first grade I actually did like a book report on Battletoads. Oh yeah, as well as Bobble Bobble. Hold, let me get that out. I did I did book reports on these back in like 1991, dude. Like in first grade, I was I love these games so much that I did book reports on them. So, and then of course Ninja Turtles. So those were those were kind of like the games I rented the most all the time, dude, all the time. So I'm glad to have them, man. They're just part of my <laughs> youth growing up. So Nintendo was the console that I first owned. Then on my seventh birthday. 1992, I got my Super Nintendo, which is the exact same Super Nintendo. This is my original copy. You can see it's dirty as shit, dude. This has probably had like a kabillion, jillion hours on it. But I'm only going to show you one game. Uh, once again, the same aunt that bought the original Nintendo bought the Super Nintendo for us. Because my parents, man, like my parents they didn't have that much money, so... My aunt was very nice to do, the, you know, buy it for us. So, um, in the game she bought, you know, it, it came with Super Mario World, but the game that she bought with it for us was Super Mario Kart. And this is the exact, same exact original copy as a kid that I bought. So, I am the original owner of this. And the box is actually in pretty good shape for keeping it as a seven year old. This isn't no, like, what do you call it? Greatest hits or whatever the fuck you call it, but play this game a lot, dude. And of course, you know I had other games, but I just want to show you that just for the sake of saving time on the video. So Super Nintendo, I had that from like 1992 all the way to like well, I've had it since, but I got the next console. I'm gonna show you. I you know once I got that, I stopped playing this. So I had I got I stopped playing Super Nintendo like around 96, 97 because on my 12th birthday. I got my Sony PlayStation, and it is still the original PlayStation. I got, I never sold it or nothing, so I still got the original box. Um, I wish I still had the original box for my Nintendo Super Nintendo. We had the Super Nintendo box for a while, and we ended up throwing it away. Um, but yeah, uh, I, pff, once again, dude, this this is like one of my, uh, after this console. That's when like my my gaming like kind of stopped a little bit. So I. I had this from like 97 until I would play this until like maybe 2001 after I got my PS2. But I'm going to just stop here with these three consoles because I feel like the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and the PlayStation 1 are pretty much my gaming past. Like that, that's what I consider like what, what, what I grew up with and what I know when it comes to games. Like yeah, I love the Dreamcast and the PS2 and... The Genesis, I love all that, but I consider these consoles to be like my genuine favorite consoles and the ones that the most nostalgic, the ones I just love the most and the ones I have the most memories with, the ones I collect for the most and it's just, and I just love it. So I got my PlayStation 1 and you know, it came with a demo disc back in the day and the first game I ever rented was Crash Bandicoot, you know, I remember showing my friend this game, he thought it was like amazing, like the best graphics on the planet, so... I have yet to beat this game. I got stuck at one part. I haven't even played it since I was 12, honestly. The first game I ever bought, ever purchased for my PlayStation 1, I got it because it was like... Because when games used to be greatest hits, they go straight to 20 bucks. And I think this was actually 9.99. They cut down in price, but it's actually Jump Moto. I got a Blastoise sticker on it. I don't know why, but... Yeah, uh, this is my original Jump Moto. But um, it's not the original case. I got I had a greatest hits case with it, and I got rid of that case. But uh, yeah, man, Jet Moto, dude, that <laughs> Jet Moto. So me and my friend are actually playing Jet Moto. They were playing part one and part two like two weeks ago, dude, because he loves Jet Moto. He just likes like, the way the character select screen looks like. It looks like comic book drawings and shit. But yeah, Jet Moto was the very first game I ever bought. And I bought it at Best Buy for like nine ninety nine. You know, since then on, I bought tons of other games, but. That is my gaming past, you know, after that, you know, I got the Genesis late, and I got, like, the Dreamcast, I got the PS2, and got everything, but NES, Super NES, and PS1 is where it's at, that's my gaming past, and that's what I have the most fond memories with, 
And so, once again, I appreciate the tag. I appreciate, like, Lazy Gamer NYX, you know, uh, tagging me. Um, I like doing tags. I think tags are cool. So, um, I'll leave her tag down, uh, her link down below so you can uh, check out her channel. She's pretty cool. So, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.